Hello guys, uh, welcome to my channel Professions in Canada. Today we are with uh, Dr. Preet uh, who is a dentist with Nepean Family Dental and uh, Dr. Preet can you introduce yourself please? Hello everybody for all the viewers. I am Dr. Indit Preet from Nepean Family Dental and I am glad to be here and uh, I am thankful that you gave me this opportunity to be here today. Yeah, it's it's uh, after a long time we get to talk. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, we have been planning this out for a long time and yeah. finally it's an, uh, we got an opportunity. So, And uh, can you tell me a little bit about your day-to-day -day life uh, and what keeps you motivated to do it every day? Uh, yeah, so uh, I start early in the morning and uh, start work uh, around 9 and usually we work 9 to 6 every day and yeah, every, every day usually is a real uh, busy day for most of the time and what keeps me motivated is the smiles which my patients yeah. get <laughs> yeah, and the satisfaction they show me, the love, the love they're showing me it really motivates me to go every day and to I keep it going yeah, that's a great point because I was actually coming before here, I was thinking to uh, have the title of the video as meet the person who brings out a smile. <laughs> so, uh, so that's that's like it totally aligns with the title I'm gonna probably have for the video. Uh, and any, uh, any advice that you would like to give to a new dentist entering into this field just these days? Yeah, so uh, anybody, like we do spend a lot to be a dentist here in this country. So uh, when you start, you know, money should not be the priority. The priority should be the care. If you care for people, people, you, you'll be successful. So I would advise just keep that in mind that if it would be your mouth, what will you do? So that's, this is what I do every day when I look at people's teeth and I see like if it would have been my mouth, would I be doing this? So then I, I only do what I would be doing to myself. So if you work like that, I think success will be there. <laughs> people and will like you. And, and uh, I know that you have your own clinic, but is there any other pathway for the dentist? So, so you can work for someone or like you can work in a hospital? Like it, it Yeah, so there are many opportunities, especially for the dentist, even when I... Uh, so I was in India and I had my office there. So when I came, I came here, I had to give lots of exams. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a hard process. Yeah. <laughs> it's not easy but once uh, nah, so after becoming after graduating here after uh, getting the license I worked as an associate for a few years okay. yeah so any new dentist can work as an associate to know how the office works it's, it's a little complicated so I think should be aware of how everything works before you know getting into buying this so I would say start as an associate and it's, it's a great opportunity like it's hard to find associates in Ottawa right now yeah, yeah. because uh, I think you uh, mentioned a really good point especially when it comes to the health sciences field like any immigrant coming here has to go through a long process even, yes even as a nurse or like my wife is go, uh, doing her nursing license so I know how hard it is yeah. like uh, being a doctor a lot of my friends are they spent four yeah. five years just getting their license here yeah. so on this note i i want to bring up a question of uh, changes you would like to see in the healthcare industry especially like uh, in your dentist field like would you like to change this process of how how long it uh, takes uh, for someone immigrating to this country to become a dentist or you like the way things are? I think it's really it's really a good process because they want to make sure that uh, you have the ability to you know work into a different atmosphere it's so I think it's a good process it's honest process and I don't uh, see any discrepancy and I think it should be the way it is that should uh, that should be the way people you know, should be able to practice before they even start here. So it's a different than the uh, rest of the countries are. And uh, as 50% of my viewers are actually uh, not from Canada, so yeah. they look for advice on uh, before coming here, uh, what can be expected. So uh, th now to become a dentist, like there are different things, like you can come here and actually do a bachelor's directly, yes. like get, or is that better path or, uh, the way that you went about it by getting different license, uh, 
passing clearance. So the exams. way people become dentist here is a bit longer process. It takes a lot of time. But uh, if, uh, if like in India or in some other countries, it's, it's not a long process. It just takes five years as compared yeah. to eight to ten years here. So that way it's easier if people go abroad and study. But at the same time, the exams, the challenge exams are really tough. And the percentage people like out of 100, I would say there are three set of exams. So out of 100, only about 20% would make it till the wow. end. So yeah. <laughs> it's, that's, uh... so that's a little hard. But if I can do it, anybody can do that. So. And till the time that you uh, become a dentist, so in in the time frame that you're waiting, like for let's say it takes you four to five years, is there anything else that you can do in the similar field? Yeah, so what I did when I came here, when I was writing my exams, uh, it took me about two years to write all that exams and it is expensive, so you have to do something. So what I did is I got a license as dental assistant. Okay. So it really helped yeah. me because uh, what I did, I worked with the TAMP agency. Okay. Then I got the opportunity to visit like different offices in Ottawa, like you name it, and I had okay. been there. <laughs> so that really made me familiar with all the practices, with all the equipment, and you know, it gave me immense knowledge and everything that really helped. And it also helped me to pay my bills. So I think you should stick to the line where you want to go and start from zero, I would say. But uh, it really gave me like a big opportunity to learn a lot. And uh, there are different uh, uh, professions, right? A dental assistant, dental, dental hygienist. hygienist. So yeah. you can pursue both of them, I guess, before. So it's easy for the dentist abroad who came here to be a dental assistant. Okay. You just have to write one easy exam. It's really easy for a, who, okay. for a person who is a dentist. So, and it's, it doesn't take much time, doesn't take much effort. And once you get licensed, and there is, uh, there are not many dental assistants available here. Okay. So there is a shortage going on already. Yeah. So whosoever uh, come as a dentist should get a dental assistant and keep it going. And once you're a dentist, you'll, you'll uh, learn a lot uh, while even assisting different dentists here. Again, uh, I think you hit another point, uh, shortage of staff, like uh, yeah. I've heard this across all the healthcare people I've interviewed, yeah. uh, uh, whether be a nurse, whether be a doctor, they all say the same thing that we yeah. can't find nurses. But, and uh, well, international students, it's hard for them to become a nurse, So and the government and other businesses are looking for nurses so it's yeah. like a deadlock uh, situation it's so, never ending yeah and covid made it worse oh yeah so even for like our industry for a dental office we had to hire an assistant and for a month we did not even get a single resume oh, yeah. <laughs> so you yeah. can really imagine and people are asking like what pre-covid rates it's like double the pay is almost double yeah. as it used to be pre-covid so it's really hard to find people for, to work in the health industry. Uh, people, they don't want to work in the health industry. COVID scared everybody. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like I, I have a personal experience with that. Yeah. So, uh, and coming to that now, so you mentioned dental assistant, uh, dental hygienist, and then you uh, become a dentist. So what is usually the average uh, income range for all of these so for dental assistants right now it's like 27 to 34 dollars an hour that's good yeah and it, it was like 18 19 pre-covid okay. so it just yeah. <laughs> it's uh, it's skyrocketed now and for hygienists it's about 37 to 40 dollars an hour so and there is great opportunity and for hygienists you have to go to school for about two to three years depending upon okay. yeah your pre uh, previous education but uh, but still it's not bad and as a dentist how much you can make so you... the yeah so for a dentist we can say it ranges from you know some people work part-time some people work full-time so it ranges from about 120,000 to 150,000 per year Oh yeah, yeah that's uh, that's pretty typical in the healthcare industry yeah. for 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 someone who actually spent eight ten years reaching, yes. reaching yeah. the stage. Yeah. I, I think uh, people deserve more. Like yeah. uh, uh, I have uh, I have everyone uh, when I ask this question of uh, changes you would like to see, one of the thing that's mentioned is uh, uh, 
we Most should pay our healthcare workers more. Yeah. So because our job is risky, we are in yeah. people's mouth every day, and the you know the our expenses are like tripled after COVID. So <laughs> yeah, so it, I think it, it should be changed. Hopefully it does with the snap elections coming in. Some party, yeah. uh, hopefully uh, they do it. But yeah, so moving on to now more of a fun uh, question. Uh, given a magic wand or unlimited power, what would you like to do in this world? Right now, I think <laughs> I'll like it's, uh, <laughs> and the COVID. Yeah. <laughs> right now, that's the main problem for everybody. Yeah. So I'll just send COVID away out of this world, and th I'll be glad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's a, that's an amazing answer. Like I think everyone appreciates that. Uh, yeah. And uh, I think we had a really good uh, good chat. Thanks a lot for uh, doing this with me. I know it's uh, your time is really precious. But uh, anyways, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for your time and thanks a lot for whoever is watching this video. Thanks a lot, guys, and I'll uh, make sure to provide Preet's uh, uh, dental website in the description so that if you want to ask any questions, you can call them up or uh, well, uh, directly contact them. So, and uh, Preet would be able to answer your questions. So, thanks a lot for watching this video. Like, subscribe, share, all that.